Step into the shadows of a quaint rural town, where bamboo houses hold secrets darker than the night itself. Follow the Mendez family as they uncover chilling mysteries lurking beneath their home, entwined with ancient rituals and supernatural forces. As the moon casts an eerie glow over their journey, prepare to be drawn into a world where reality blurs with the whispers of the past, leaving you on the edge of your seat, yearning for answers hidden in the depths of the unknown. Welcome to Eerie Encounters and Hauntings. We are thrilled to have you join us for two new spine-tingling tales of the paranormal each week, stories that will make you shiver with fear and keep you on the edge of your seat. From haunted houses to possessed objects, we have the most bone-chilling tales of the supernatural. Get ready for a terrifying journey into the unknown with our bone-chilling episodes featuring blood-curdling stories that will send shivers down your spine. So hit that like button, share the horror with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. This story will make shiver in fright. This is entitled Secrets of the Bamboo Town. This was shared by Alfreda from Hungary. Let's get started. The houses in this rural town were made of bamboo and people mostly lived quiet lives. Like the other families, the Mendez family made a small living from the land. Felipe, the father, worked hard on a small piece of land taking care of the crops, and Maria, the mother, had a green thumb that produced a lot of vegetables that were sold at the busy market. Pigs grunted in the backyard pens, which was a profitable business that their kids, Rosa and Juan, did their best to run. Under their home, which was raised on stilts, chickens scratched and clucked while being safe from wild animals that came out at night. As the golden sun went down, Rosa and Juan would run off to the town to hang out with their friends and enjoy the simple things that kids love. Every day was full of games of tag, drawing in the streets that were soaked in sun, and exciting games of hide and seek in the wide fields. A loud group of village boys who were playing with them loved being in the stream's embrace, where friendship and laughter flowed like the water itself. Even so, as the sun went down and their perfect lives ended, a chill would come over them. They would share strange stories while sitting under the big branches of an old mango tree and basking in the eerie light of the full moon. Strange things were said to live in their town, and the Eswangs were said to be the scariest of them all. People in the area talked about horrifying encounters they had with these shape-shifting, flesh-eating monsters, which made the air tense. One story was told by one of their friends, whose voice was shaking as she talked about a horrible vision she had of a woman hanging from the huge branches of a baletti tree deep in the scary woods. Her nightmares were filled with the woman's horrifying look, which scared her to death. Other stories said that dwarves lived in the old groves. These were small creatures that didn't like being disrespected and would get revenge on anyone who crossed their way. Different tales of ghosts, enchantments, and seen in Aswan wove a scary fabric that seemed to wrap around them. Rosa and Juan were eerily quiet and didn't have any stories of their own, so they couldn't add to the spooky mood of the gathering. The full, unapologetic brightness of the moon's light made their senses stronger and made everyone feel uneasy. There were whispered fears of ghostly watchers, which meant that visitors from other worlds might happen. In quiet voices, they ended their meeting and went back to their own houses. Gas lamps lit up each home in the village at night because electricity hadn't made it through the village yet. As usual, they started the evening with a big meal and then closed the doors to the outside world as a ritual. As night fell, everything around them became completely dark. But one child stayed out in the dark. The twisted roots of an old tamarind tree seemed to move, and it was a shadow that seemed much bigger than life. Its shape curled and waved in the moonlight, making a grotesque dance that made the child shiver. He ran into the safety of their home without giving it a second thought because he was scared. Soon after, a strange stillness settled inside the bamboo walls of their home. All of them had gotten into bed and were deep asleep. They didn't know what was about to happen below them. Felipe and Maria were in their bedroom, and Rosa and Juan were in the sitting room, where they were safe. An eerie noise broke through the quiet night from somewhere deep under the house. The chaos was coming from the area around the chicken coop. The two children peered through the uneven bamboo floors, 
straining their senses to try to figure out what was making all the noise. Shapes moved around in the obsidian pit below, making it hard to see any shape at all. The loud clucking of scared chickens rose and fell like a shrill peak. In the creepy moonlight, a macabre scene played out while an unfathomable horror gripped their minds. For some reason, a tight wire as long as the night crawled up from the void below them. The wire's source was somewhere below, and it looked like a strong force was pushing it upward. At the end of it, a scary-looking iron hook dropped, leaving the children completely confused. What was it? And where was it coming from? It made the siblings feel full of fear and dread as they watched this scary show. They had heard the ghost stories that had been told for generations about people breaking in through the ground and being warned by the wire that went inside homes from below. As they took hold of the wire and struggled with it, fear filled their bodies. Their efforts to free it from the hands below, which they couldn't see, were pointless. Rosa and Juan called their father right away because they were desperate and they really needed help. Quickly, their parents woke up, and Felipe, carrying a shiny blade, joined them in their effort. As a group, they pulled against the evil force that fought every pull. It was like an unknown evil force was holding onto the wire and refusing to let them figure out where it was coming from. Then, when Felipe showed up, they were able to pull the wire up as if there had been no resistance at all. He lit a light quickly and warned them to be careful as they left the area where they were huddling on. What surprised Felipe was that when he went down, he saw that the chain that locked the door to the chicken coops had not been moved. The person who broke in might have come in from somewhere else. There was no damage under the house, though. The chickens were once very noisy, but now they were quiet, and no one could explain why. The wire that used to dance with evil has stopped, and there was no sign of a trespasser left. It went from a scary scene to a strangely peaceful one. Nobody had seen the intruder. Nobody knew where it came from and where it had gone to. It seemed as if it had just mysteriously appeared and then disappeared. The scary event made everyone in the family feel confused and scared. The unanswered questions and strange events continued to creep into Rosa and Juan's minds. Rosa and Juan became adults after many years, and the scary night they shared changed the way they saw the world. They were in charge of their family's history and told the next generation stories about the strange wire that came from under the house. Through the years, the ceremonies that old man Esteban taught them became serious traditions. They were a way for the village to keep the mysterious forces that lived in the shadows at peace. People made offerings, whispered prayers, and showed respect for the old balete trees and tamarind groves. These places were said to be the dwelling places of the supernatural, of beings that they dare not even summon or talk about anymore. It was clear that the spirits of the land were not always good, though, because the peace that had come to the village was not stable. Nights came and went when the moon's light took on a dark, evil hue and the winds whispered strange tunes. On a terrible night, when the moon was low in the sky and cast long shadows that seemed to reach the Mendez house, a strange and unsettling figure showed up. It began with a clear but soft rattling sound coming from under the wooden floor, as if the ground was moving. Rosa, who was now a brave young woman, could feel the change right away. She had the drive of her father and the wisdom of her mother. She got Juan and her parents together and led them under the house with lanterns in hand to face the scary noise. As they went deeper into the poorly lit area, the air felt like it had an energy from another world. The whispering winds got stronger. Their words were hard to understand but made her feel like she needed to act quickly. The bamboo floor, which had been flat before, was now wavy under their feet, as if it were hiding a passageway. Felipe took a deep breath, his heart heavy with obligation, and walked toward the uneven floor. The tip of his blade was used to pry at the bamboo boards, which let him see a secret room below. The lantern light flickered, leaving scary shadows on the area that had just been opened up. The sight they saw inside the room sent chills down their spines. A group of artifacts, including torn scrolls with mysterious symbols on them, weathered bones from an unknown origin, and a small, fancy chest with lots of elaborate carvings, were sitting on an old stone altar. 
Maria let out a gasp of recognition. These are the artifacts from long ago, she said in a whisper, her voice shaking with fear and awe. They have been hidden here for generations, safeguarded by the spirits themselves. While the family looked at the treasures, they felt a strong energy surge coming from the room. They felt like the land's spirits were telling them to find out the secrets that had been hidden far too long. Rosa gently opened the fancy chest with hands that were shaking. Inside, they discovered a group of old papers. The writings on the pages seemed to blur the line between fact and fiction. The scrolls talked about a powerful ritual that might be able to connect the living world with the spirit world and help them understand riddles they had been trying to solve for a long time. Rosa looked at her family with determination in her eyes. She said, we have to do this ritual. We must seek the guidance of the spirits and uncover the truth that has been hidden for generations. Juan agreed, and his young bravery was boosted by his sister's determination. Felipe and Maria knew there was no going back because their hearts were heavy with the weight of their family's history. They were going on a trip that would test their faith, their relationships, and even what they thought they knew about the world. The Mendez family worked hard over the next few nights to read the old books, figuring out the mysterious symbols and getting ready for the rite that would bring them face to face with the mysterious forces that lived in the shadows. The sounds coming from under the house got louder, like the ghosts were leading them to a long-awaited reveal. One night, the Mendez family gathered in the chamber under their house as the moon cast its eerie light on the town. Artifacts from the past were all around them. The right would lead them into the unknown and give them a chance to find out secrets that had been kept for generations. The energy in the air seemed to pulse as they began the spells and gifts. The floor was made of bamboo, and the wind started to whisper, soon, it turned into a chorus of voices from the past. The line between the real world and the spirit world became less clear, and the Mendez family found themselves on the verge of a big discovery. As they stared into the swirling vortex of the unknown, tales of their town, their family, and the mysterious forces that had shaped their lives began to come to light. The truth, which was as old as the land itself, called them forward by promising answers to problems that had been bothering them for generations. The Mendez family took their first steps into the supernatural world, ready to face the mysteries that had eluded them for so long. The moon was high in the sky, throwing an eerie glow over the bamboo houses and the thick undergrowth of the village. The Mendez family's trip into the supernatural came to a scary end as the moon cast its last, spooky light on the town made of bamboo. They found secrets that had been kept hidden for generations and connected the living world with the spirit world. The truth, which was both scary and fascinating, had changed the way they thought about their peaceful town forever. As they stood at the edge of an unknown and mysterious future, ready to face the ghostly forces that lived in the shadows, they had answers in their hands. There would always be secrets, and the Mendez family would keep the secrets with them forever to ensure that their town remained quiet and safe. They have become the gatekeepers and guardians of their town. If this video left you spellbound, dive deeper into the world of chilling tales by joining our channel, Eerie Encounters and Hauntings. Access a treasure trove of bone-chilling stories waiting for you with new episodes two times a week. Spread the fear among your friends and family who crave a good scare and give them goosebumps. We'd love to hear your spine-tingling experiences as well, so don't hesitate to share them in the comments. You can also send us your story so we can feature it in one of our future episodes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay scared. Disclaimer. This video is for entertainment purposes only. The stories depicted in this video are shared by people who believe they are true, but they have not been verified. Any resemblance to real people or events is purely coincidental. The views and opinions expressed in this video are those of the people who shared the stories and do not necessarily reflect the views of YouTube, Google, or Facebook. The channel does not endorse the views expressed in this video. This video is not intended to be used as evidence of any supernatural or paranormal activity. If you are experiencing paranormal activity, please contact a qualified professional.